Today we're trying flexi rods on low medium density naturally wavy hair. For the last two weeks I've been styling my hair using flexi rods and I'm going to be talking about all of that, why, how, what's going on with my hair right now, stuff like that in the video. For now I just want to start things off and not waste too much time. So before I started CGM these are the two combs and brushes that I used to use on my hair because I've noticed that when you use wooden combs and brushes you don't get that static in your hair. So it's been Christmas week, it's been my birthday week and so I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself and so I just blow dried my hair. So I've parted my hair slightly off center and today I'm using flexi rods. I'm going to be using eight. Four on this side and four on that side. So the first thing that I'll do is section my hair on each side of my head into four parts. So this is half and this is half. I'm going to be separating these two sections into two more sections. So I'll have four on this side and four on this side. So I'm just going to spray my hair down with some water. After that, I'm going to use the Katin Curl Defining Spray. Then I'm using the Katin Natural Hair Holding Mist and I will just spray down the first section. Now I'm just going to take my first flexi rod and I'm going to take it behind my hair. I'm going to start right at the top here and I'm going to press this down so that my hair is nice and secure. I'm going for this very gentle soft wave look, so like a 2B 2C wave. You saw me sporting flexi rods in my last video, I'll put up a little pop up here. So now that I've taken it and I've taken it down, I'm going to leave a little outside. Maybe that's better. So I'm going to leave a little hair and I'm not going to curl right till the end. And then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to twist. And I'm going to make sure that my hair is nice and secure. That ought to do it. Later on, if I feel like they're loosening out, I'll give you a hack for that as we proceed. So yeah, this is the next section. I'm going to take the, the Katin Natural Hair Holding Spray and give my hair a little spritz. And for this section, I'm going to go in the opposite direction because this is going to help me with the volume, right? And I'm going to start twisting in the opposite direction. Leave some hair out. And twist. If it loosens up, I'm just going to take it and twist it a few more times. So there, I've twisted it a few more times. I've taken this and I'll undo it from the top and then I'll just tuck it in the other direction if that makes sense, so that the hair is nice and tight. And then I'm going to go to the two back sections that I left out, spritz with water. Then I'm going to spritz my hair down with the Katin Curl Defining Spray, both sections. Section the hair in two, push that section back. This is going in that direction. Pick up the hair, secure the top and twist. Leave some hair out and then twist. Now this is going in this direction, meaning I'm going to bring this to the front. Since I'm bringing this to the front, I'm going to secure this at the back and then I'm going to twist and bring this forward. I'm not going to worry about starting right at the top. This is not that look. So I'm going to be doing a lot of content 
around flexi rods because they're so easy to use and I definitely want to do like comparison videos so this is like this will probably be the quickest fastest flexi rod tutorial here we go and I'll do exactly the same on the other side I'm just about getting my hair damp it's not fully wet so I'm going for like a soft 2A 2B wave so I'm not going to start from the root I'm going to start a little lower and this section I want going away from my face so both of my face framing sections I want the clumps going away that way it's a little more aesthetically pleasing in my opinion so that's what we're going to do so now while I'm doing it let's talk why is my hair blow dried because it was Christmas week and it was my birthday week and I've also been gigging quite a bit there's been a lot of traveling as well I didn't have too much time to do too much with my hair I wanted like a low fuss sort of look and anyway since most of my gigs are outdoors and so I'm wearing hats anyway I realized that the easiest thing would be to like blow dry it like super casual super easy I wasn't trying to get anything perfect I just got the job done since it's winter what happens is I get super paranoid that I'm gonna lose my voice right and if you're part air drying part diffusing you always run that risk if I just blow dry my hair and wear hats on stage it's gonna be really easy it's gonna be much simpler and I'm not gonna have to worry about it I'm not gonna have to get my hair wet too often and then on certain days where I feel like okay I just want like a loose wave I've just been using flexi rods and to be very honest I'm super impressed this is so simple this is so easy so this is obviously not a natural technique right because when you're using flexi rods this is curl manipulation but it's definitely better than using heat on your hair and since I realized that even if I use a diffuser if I want to get the job done then I'm gonna have to use a tiny bit of heat so I thought maybe let's just cut myself some slack and sort of just blow dry my hair that way I think I've been really good it's been two years I'm coming close to two years on CGM and I've only straightened my hair once and I've only blow dried my hair once so I feel like I've been pretty good really not bad at all I mean I lasted far longer than I thought I would so yeah there's that not like I want to quit CGM not like I'm over my curly hair wavy hair whatever you want to call it that's not the case at all I just feel like once in a while it's okay to cut yourself some slack especially if you know why you're doing it and you give yourself like this limit that I'll do it only twice a year or I'll only do it four times a year and you know sort of stick to that if you don't stick to that maybe it could be like a slippery slope because then you can go back to you know your old ways of straightening and styling and heat styling and stuff but if you're honest with yourself and you hold yourself accountable I feel like it's it's fine you might not fall off the wagon but would I recommend straightening to someone who's just started CGM maybe not because your willpower in the beginning obviously when you transition that is gonna sort of dwindle right now that I'm in my journey like well along in my journey and it's been two years it's very easy for me to say no not gonna straighten my hair but in the beginning it's not as easy so it gets much simpler with time that temptation is not there but in the beginning definitely you do have this temptation of wanting to use heat of wanting to straighten your hair of wanting to give up CGM but I guess for each of us I guess it's important to achieve this sort of balance I think moderation is key if you're super excessive and you're super restrictive with yourself more often than not it doesn't work out you know what I mean so if you give yourself too many rules and you're like I'm not gonna do this I'm not gonna do that then you'll feel like CGM is super restrictive and then you probably might give up but yeah if you cut yourself some slack once in a while and of course you know sort of practice moderation and also define the boundaries so for me the boundaries are gonna be like I might straighten my hair but I'm not gonna do it too many times if I do it at all number one it'll be for experimentation so I'm definitely gonna do it if it is like for a video 
if it is something that you've asked for. So like the only reason I straightened my hair this time was because I've been getting requests, right? And the requests and questions have been like, have you ever straightened your hair? If you did, what did you experience after? So in that way, I was like, okay, fine. If I do straighten my hair, I'm getting something out of it because I might be able to make a video. I might be able to answer a certain question of yours. I might be able to give you my experiences. And so, you know, it sort of works out. But to be very honest, when it comes to me, I don't have that urge. It's not like I prefer my hair straight. Nowadays, I really like my hair in its natural wavy form. I feel like it gives me a lot of personality. It gives me like this different look. It's definitely really unique. But in winters, I know it's gonna be a problem because obviously I sing for a living, that is what I do. And so during winters, I'm always petrified that I'm gonna catch a cold. And so that way, you know, I always run the risk of losing out on work or having to cancel my gigs if I catch a cold. And so I'm really careful during winter. Okay, all right, so it's loosening up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist, bring it to the front and then just bend that. Let me show you with another section. All right, so, so it's coming out, right? Just gonna take this and tuck this in once more. And then I'm gonna go to the top, right? Twist and change the direction. So I'm done, this is what we're looking like. But yeah, since I'm here and I haven't finished telling you like the story, right? So what happens is I'm a singer and YouTube is like a side thing that I do. This is not like my job, not yet at least. So I rely on singing to earn a living, to pay the bills and stuff. So obviously during winter, I'm always paranoid that shit, I'm gonna lose my voice and then I'll have to cancel all of my gigs. And also as a singer, I get most of my shows, most of my gigs during winter. So it's like this difficult situation where I'm like super paranoid. And so this year I just thought that, you know what? It just makes sense. I'm just gonna like straighten once and low dry once. So it's not gonna be too much. Maybe my hair could handle it. And so I blow dried and straightened. But will I make a habit of this? Definitely not. Because the convenience of straight hair, right? It's so convenient to sort of just use heat and then do nothing else. I don't want to go down that road because it's a slippery slope. And so if I do it, there will definitely be a purpose as to why I'm doing it. It's also going to be what is probably required in that moment, if that makes sense. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna wait for this to dry. It's not gonna take me too much time at all because obviously my hair is belly damp. I also almost forgot to mention, thank you so much Rucha for leaving me this request in my community tab. So a few weeks ago, I put up this poll on my community tab and I asked what you'd like to see to leave your requests and stuff. Obviously, you can also leave me a request down in the comments of this video. But yeah, I got this lovely request from this girl called Rucha and she asked me to try flexi rods. So all of this pretty much started because of her request. So I just wanna shout you out and say thank you so much for requesting this video. Anyway, I'll be back when my hair is completely dry. It's not gonna take too much time at all. Maybe an hour, an hour and a half max. I'm back, my hair is all dry now. Let's just take out the rods and see what happens. My hair is frizzing up a little bit here, mostly because the moment I got it wet, it started reverting to its normal state, right? Loosen it from the top a little bit. Then I'm just gonna hold it from the bottom and then unravel. Be careful of the edges here because your hair can get stuck here and then this can be difficult. So this is what all of my hair is looking like. I'm just going to start fluffing out my roots. Now I'm just going to take the Vilva Serum. Put it on my hands. 
glaze my hair. Now I'm just going to separate my clumps. If I do that way, I'll get all of that beautiful volume. Giving my roots a bit of a fluff just to add more volume. I have done this on my natural hair when it was not blow dried and the results were pretty similar. So these are my results, definitely a little looser than my natural hair pattern but I quite like it because it's different. It's quite fluffy also, my hair also feels very light because of course I don't have too much product in it. And this is going to get looser as time progresses, it's not going to hold like my natural results generally last. I can see that it's pretty fluffy and there's also some excess frizz in the periphery but I can wear this in different hairstyles and I feel like it'll look really nice and it'll be possible. Alright, so this is my hair to the side. To be honest, I think this is how I would wear it if I'm not wearing a cap. Take a clip, clip it up here and then call it a day. Really, really pretty. If I had a wedding to go to, this would be my go-to hairstyle. Such a pretty look, especially when you wear it to the side. I have one of those clips that sort of glide in there. That would be perfect. Yeah, so I probably just wear the clip, clip it up here. And this would be my hairstyle. Definitely so pretty. So my final verdict, I really like flexi rods. I also feel like there's gonna be a difference in the results based on how wet your hair is when you start, how long you have the flexi rods in your hair, the direction in which you curl. So I curled in this direction going down, so I was more vertical with my coils. But if you curl in this direction, if you go in like a rounded motion, if you go in a straight, sort of vertical motion, the number of sections that you take, the number of flexi rods that you use, the size of flexi rods that you use, how wet your hair is, the kind of product that you use. So if you used a mousse, then maybe you could make your hair last way longer. If you used a gel, I don't know if that would work. I definitely feel like the drying time would be excessive. I don't know if it would be reasonable for me to wear this overnight, but technically for one hour, if I had like a special occasion, like a wedding and stuff to go to, then this would definitely be like my go-to hairstyle because it is so soft. The waves are so beautiful, so loose, so romantic, and I really, really like them. So that was pretty much it for this video. This is what my hair looks like. Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're interested in hair care, feel free to check out more videos on my channel.